Okay, folks, I finally got the transfer case in the old van, and uh, yeah, I didn't clean it up. Fluid looked good in it when I drained it out, so I ain't worried about cleaning it up. This old van I'm building for camping, I ain't building it for carrying the shows or anything, but uh, I had to end up putting a spacer in between the rear mount and the transmission. I had to lower the uh, bracket here. I've heard people say they had to lower it because of the front dry shaft. But uh, I could even get the bracket to bolt when I, this bracket was bolted to the transmission without that one inch spacer up there. The transmission was hitting the firewall up there and uh so i guess that's the reason everybody's saying they've been lowering this bracket three to four inches some say four some say three but uh i cut four out of it to allow for the dry shaft to go through because some people are saying they had to remake their own cross member and notch it for the dry shaft so I just I did it this way yeah my welding on the uh, front bars are kind of shady looking but I got somebody else coming by they're gonna weld those for me and they actually bolt them also but uh, yeah the old van needs a exhaust work done but uh I do have a dry shaft. I think that'll work with the slip yoke halfway. It will, uh, it, it fits 55 and a half inches. So let's go look at it. All right, this is the dry shaft. The, I had to free it up. It was froze up. So I took the boot off of it. But um, this is halfway right here. And it's that 55 and a half inches from center yoke. I was told to measure it from center yoke to center yoke. And uh, so that's what I did. I don't see nothing wrong with the dry shaft except right here is a little dent. I don't know if that's going to throw it out of balance. I would think it would. But uh, I got to carry this anyway to the dry shaft shop and have a 1410 series head put on it here because the rear end is a 1410 series. And the transfer case is a 330 series. Well, 330 joint, I don't know what the series is. I think it's like a 1330. And but that's where I'm at. I'm fixing to clean this up, paint it up, and uh, see what I got. Tomorrow, I'm going to put the fluid in the transfer case and new fluid in the transmission. And I may go ahead and try to tackle putting a new joint. I have a new joint for this put a new joint in it and I also have the big joint for here but you know obviously it won't fit but uh I had the caps I could put on here and I might I might just bolt it up like I did the two-wheel drive dry shaft just so I could move it in the yard because I need to get the van out of the way because my old black truck I have a six inch suspension kit right there for it I want to put on it so I'm sure that's going to be an all weekend project plus the fuel tank I'm going to try to put the fuel tank in tomorrow the brackets I've been pondering what to do about the rubber that goes here on these brackets but I think I'm gonna cut a bicycle inner tube 
and loop loop over it or lay on it and, and 3M glue it or something. But I think that'll work. So, all right, I'm going to clean the dry shaft up and I'll show you what it looks like here in a little bit. Okay, folks, I got the dry shaft cleaned up about the best I'm going to do it because I'm going to have to rip the joints off of it, put a new joint here, and there's no need to paint it because I got to carry it to the dry shaft shop and they got to cut this end off and put a bigger end on it for the uh, 1410 series. So there's really no need to do a lot of painting to it. And, uh, you know, because they're going to roll it around on a table and get it scratched all up and then I have to paint it again. So, But that's where I'm at. I'm kind of at a standstill right now on the dry shaft. All right, a little update on the dry shaft. Got the joint put in for the transfer case side. And I got the joint for this side, but I got to carry it to the dry shaft shop, just like before. It's got to be 55 and a half inches cap to cap. So he's going to have to cut, and this is perfect. He's going to have to cut this off and put a new end on it for the 1410 series. So it's going to dry shaft shop a couple of days. Front, I thought I had one that'll work, but uh, these be 42 and 5 eighths. And with this one extended all the way out, it just is 42 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna carry it with me. And he may just cut the ends off and add a piece of pipe to it. Or well, add, you know, the right length. So that's where I'm at on dry shaft. And it's probably it for this video. It's been video making in a couple of days. It took me a couple of days to make it. So, but that's it.